Earthquakes are deadly and can destroy entire cities in a matter of seconds. The tectonic plates beneath the Japanese archipelago collide frequently, which creates a large number of earthquakes. If we include earthquakes that cannot be felt, this number reaches over 100,000 in a year. A large earthquake could easily strike anywhere, anytime. How would you respond in the event of an earthquake? Let's take a moment to stop and think. Just how much damage could you prevent if you knew even seconds in advance that a tremor was coming? Believe it or not, such a system already exists. Earthquakes create fast-moving P waves, which cause weak tremors, and slow-moving S waves, which cause strong tremors. S waves are responsible for most earthquake-related damage. The earthquake early warning system uses this speed difference to estimate the arrival of tremors. When an earthquake occurs, seismographs near the epicenter catch fast-moving P waves and send advanced warnings of strong tremors created by S-waves to schools, offices, and homes. The 2005 Miyagi-Ken Oki earthquake is one example. The window of time between the announcement of an earthquake early warning and the occurrence of strong tremors was 13 seconds for Sendai and 18 seconds for Kawasaki Machi. However, the system has technical limitations. The window of time between an earthquake early warning and strong tremors is only a few seconds to a few tens of seconds. Earthquake early warnings may not reach areas close to the epicenter before strong tremors. Finally, estimations of earthquake seismic intensity and arrival time are not always accurate. By keeping these limitations in mind when utilizing earthquake early warnings, we can minimize damage by stopping trains and elevators before strong tremors occur and avoid danger in places such as homes, schools, and factories. The earthquake early warning system is already being used in a variety of areas. A railway is one example. When an earthquake early warning is received and damage to a certain railway line is anticipated, the traffic control center uses a wireless system to order all trains to make emergency stops. A construction site is another example. When an earthquake early warning is received, a warning light alerts workers that strong tremors will soon occur. Workers move away from cranes and evacuate to a safe place. A crane operator lowers hanging objects to the ground in preparation for a tremor. The system is also being used effectively in the medical field. When a radiological treatment facility receives an earthquake early warning for a tremor of seismic intensity 3 or higher, doors automatically unlock to allow patients to be evacuated quickly and safely. Earthquake early warnings are used for preparation of tremors in homes, offices, and other facilities where people tend to gather. The Japan Meteorological Agency sends out warnings via television, radio, mobile phones, and the city government disaster administration system. Private forecast providers that have obtained approval from the Japan Meteorological Agency 
also develop their own equipment and provide earthquake early warnings using sounds, warning lights, and texts. A variety of equipment is also available according to their intended purpose. There is very little time between an earthquake early warning and the arrival of a strong tremor. This is why it is important to always be prepared to respond to one of these warnings. Let's look at several situations. What would you do? Imagine yourself in the following positions. The window of time between an earthquake early warning and strong tremors is a few seconds to a few tens of seconds. When you hear the warning, the ground could already be shaking. Reacting with surprise and panic to the sudden warning is very dangerous. It is important to spend some time thinking about how you might respond to an earthquake early warning. First, ensure your physical safety by hiding under a table or moving away from furniture. If you are cooking, immediately turn off the heat. If you are near a door, open it to create an escape route. Remember, remain calm and secure your personal safety. This is the most important thing, so please keep it in mind when thinking about how you would respond to an earthquake early warning at school or at the office. The cars behind you may not have received an earthquake early warning. For this reason, avoid sudden braking or swerving, which could cause an accident. If you hear an earthquake early warning, Turn on your hazard lights to alert other drivers. If you feel a strong tremor, slow down and stop on the left shoulder of the road. An earthquake early warning can cause mass confusion in public places. One person's overreaction is enough to incite mass panic. If you hear an earthquake early warning while in a public place, follow the store clerk's instructions. If store clerks do not give instructions, move away from unstable furniture and displays and prepare yourself for tremors. No one knows when and where an earthquake will strike. But by taking advantage of earthquake early warnings, 
we can protect our lives and those of our loved ones. We encourage you to imagine yourself receiving an earthquake early warning and spending some time thinking about how you would respond.